Hi everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to today's workout. So today is a recovery and stretch day. So I'm always saying in my workouts, listen to your body, listen to your body, listen to your body. Well, sometimes I don't listen to my body and my body the past few days has been really talking to me. Between all the stress of Thanksgiving and all the crazy workouts that I do, my body has been saying, hey, take a step back. So I'm gonna listen to my body, just like I tell you to listen to your body. So this is just gonna be an easy peasy stretch uh, workout or routine, I shouldn't say workout. Um, if you have a foam roller, the last part of the workout, I'm going to inc incorporate a little bit of foam rolling, but not in the traditional way. We're going to kind of lay onto the roller and we're going to work the shoulders and we're also going to work the core. All right, so that's just an additional workout. So we're just going to start standing. So I want you to ground your feet into the floor, separate the toes, kind of jiggle them around. Push your shoulders all the way down and up. Grab a nice big inhale. Let your fingers just hang towards the side of your body. And we're gonna take a nice big inhale and you're gonna bring those arms up overhead. Take a nice big inhale up. You're gonna clasp your hands and you're gonna press them to the sky. So as you do this, I want you to really elongate that body. Big stern stretch. And now we're just gonna squeeze the glutes and you're gonna slightly push the pelvis forward as the arms slightly come back. So you're just getting a little bit of a stretch through the back of the shoulders and the core, beautiful. And you're gonna come forward, you're gonna bring those arms down and around, you're gonna come into a heart center, you're gonna extend those arms long, and we're just gonna open to the side. Now when we open, I don't want you to rotate your hips. I want your hips to stay right where they are and concentrate on opening and following that hand. We call that trapping. So you have a nice big stretch through the rib cage. We're gonna do one more. Open, you got it. Try not to move those hips. Awesome, now we're gonna bring those hands to our side one more time, bring those arms all the way back up. We're gonna clasp them one more time. Reach towards the sky. Big stretch, squeeze the glutes, slightly push the pelvis forward, get a little bit of an arch to that spine. Big inhale, exhale, come back to center, bring those arms back down. Now this time we're gonna bring those arms all the way up overhead. And we're gonna do that same stretch, but we're just gonna slice the arms down as we rotate. And back, good. Breathing, easy peasy breathing. I want you just to feel the stretch going through. I can feel my biceps, I can feel my shoulder. We're gonna do one more. Awesome, right here. Last one, right here. Coming back to center. Bring those hands behind you. Now you're gonna clasp your hands behind you. Again, you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. And I want you to slightly do that same move where you push the pelvis forward. Get a great big stretch so your hands are leaning back towards your heels. Just feel the stretch that's going on in the front of your body. Pulling those shoulders back. And grab an inhale, coming back to center. We're gonna do that one more time. Pull the shoulder blades back. Slightly push the pelvis forward. Get a nice big arch. Now try to see if you can get just a bit deeper. So you're pushing down through your hands as you push that pelvis forward. You're gonna come center, and we're gonna reverse this. So you're gonna slowly hike the hips back, you're gonna bring those arms up, drop the crown of your head towards the floor, feel those arms stretching, and grab an inhale, coming right back up, and we're gonna do that forward fold one more time. So bring it up, hinging the hips back, bringing those arms up, Stretch, now really lift through those arms and those shoulders. Now see if you can fold your forehead towards your knees. Feel, see if you feel a deeper stretch through the shoulders, the back, the chest, and of course the back of your legs. Grab an inhale, pull your body all the way back up. And shake out those arms, just come into some shoulder rolls here. Inhale, exhale, and let's take them forward. Excellent work. All right, so we're gonna come down into a plank position. So we're just gonna take this into a little bit of a swan dive. So bring those feet, ground them to the floor, bring those arms up overhead. We're gonna hinge forward from the hips, a little swan dive towards the toes. Nice flat back, 
And I'll bring your hands up towards your knees. Again, little flat bag, bring the hands back down. And you're gonna step your right leg back. And then you're gonna step your left leg back. So you're gonna roll the shoulders back, feel the core, you're nice in a nice long plank position. Breathe in and out, feel that entire body. Now we're just gonna drop the knees slightly down and you're gonna open those knees and then you're gonna sit your hips back into a child pose. But by opening those knees, you're able to sink your hips back into a little bit deeper of a stretch. Nice work. All right, so we're gonna come back onto those knees. We're gonna bring those knees together. We're gonna hike your hips into a down dog. Now see if you can press your heels down as you're in this down dog press. So you feel the back of your legs. Fantastic, now coming back up, bring that head forward, coming back into your plank position, holding, rounding the shoulders back, nice and easy. Now dropping those knees and lowering your body all the way to the floor, bringing those arms forward, tucking your forehead. You're gonna float those arms back, you're gonna grab your right toe and your left toe, and you're just gonna hold. Now you're gonna feel a nice stretch on your quads, front of the body here, big stretch. Can you lift your upper body just a little bit more? Pull the shoulder blades together, open up that chest, ha, ah, feel that giant stretch. Now be where you're at, so if you're super tight, maybe you grab a towel and you wrap it around one foot at a time, squeeze it out, hold it, and release, bring those hands back down right by your shoulders, head and neck stays in the neutral, we're gonna lift that upper body. Good, just lift it up, push the pelvis down, straighten the arms so my thighs are coming off, getting a nice big stretch here. Now if you can, lift your knees up off the floor and just get that big stretch and a lower back down. All the way, we're gonna go right back into that stretch. Bring those hands behind you, pull your right and your left and hold. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, feel that stretch shouldn't be quite as intense as it was initially. Pull back, squeeze, open up that chest. Feel what you feel. So take a second, where are you feeling the stretch? Nice inhale, exhale, beautiful. Release those feet, bring those hands back up. We're gonna hike that upper body and then we're gonna hike the hips up into a down dog. So you're gonna walk your feet, hike those hips all the way back in. Oh yeah, feels really, really, really good. Nice job, nice. Now, you're gonna step, I'm sorry, you're gonna come back to your extended plank here, holding here. Now you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna step it in, and you're gonna come into a nice big stretch right through here. Inhale, exhale, now you bring that hand down, and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Step it in, big rotation, nice work. Coming back down, we're gonna do that same move, extended plank, step that right foot in. This time I want you to take your right arm and try to lower it towards the floor. All right, sinking down, might feel a deeper stretch right into that groin, holding it here. Big inhale, exhale, bring the hand back in, step that foot back, extended plank. Other foot in, hold it and see if you can roll that arm down. Ah, get a little lower into that stretch. Breathe through the stretch. This is a little more of an intensive stretch here. Nice work. Now bring that hand back down. Float that leg straight back. Inhale, exhale. Now just hike those hips one last time. Big stretch. Awesome work. Now come back to that extended plank. I want you just to slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Inchworm them in. Nice and easy. You're gonna come right into that forward fold. Hands to the floor if you can, or fingertips. Tuck your uh, chin in towards your chest, round your forehead towards your knees. Grab a nice big inhale and pull your body up. Nice and easy peasy. Excellent work. So we're gonna step our right leg back. We're gonna come into a lunge position. All right, so I want you to ground your feet. Knee is soft in the back, heel is up. You're gonna sink down and hold this position. Bring those arms all the way back up. Grab a nice big inhale, and we're gonna stretch. You're gonna look at that back hand. You're gonna come back to center, 
and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Big stretch. So we're gonna pick up the pace here and just go into a little bit of a rotation. Each time you open your hands, I want you to look at your back hand. So you're getting a nice stretch through the rib cage, through that torso. Your whole body's holding and supporting. Come back to center and hold here. Bring one arm down and then switch. And then switch. You got it. Feel that elongation and that stretch to the side of your rib cage through your obliques. You got it. You got four more and three more and two more and one. Bring those hands down on either side of your foot. Right here, I should say, on the inside of your foot. Hold it nice and strong. Take the outside hand and reach it up and hold all the way up. Big inhale, big exhale. Beautiful. And bring that hand down. And now step or walk that opposite hand. And now just shift your weight to the front here. So you're going to flex through that foot. Hold it. Feel the stretch going up the back of the leg. Ground that toe. Take your back leg, step it in. You'll be in a forward fold. Let your body hang. Inhale, exhale, and pull your body up. Nice and easy. Roll the shoulders back. We do the same thing on the other side. So step that leg back. Core is engaged. Roll the shoulders back. Ground the hips. Lower that back knee into a nice stretch here. We're going to bring those arms out in front. Just going to open. Look at that back hand as you open and close. So you got a different leg in front, different leg in back. So it should feel a little bit different. So try to pick up that pace just slightly. You might feel a little bit wibbly wobbly, it's okay. Nice work, this is your last one here. And I'm gonna bring those arms nice and long up overhead. And we're just gonna switch here, rotating from each side. Awesome job. Inhale, exhale. You're gonna feel those legs a little bit. You're gonna do one more each way. Awesome work. All right, we're just gonna go down and up. So I'm gonna bring one hand down and the other hand and switch it out. Yes, nice and strong. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those hands on the inside of that foot. Stretch it back, hold it in and take that outside arm Big giant stretch. Look at that hand that's up behind you. Couple of breaths and float it down. Bring the hand on either side of your back foot. Step it in. Actually, you know what? Step it back. We forgot to stretch the front. Here we go. Stretch it here. Welcome to my world of craziness here where I forget. <laughs> Just flex. And then bring that foot down. Now step that back leg in. You're in a forward fold. Grab both, grab both of your elbows. Let your body hang even deeper here. Inhale, exhale. Let's slowly bring your body up. Nice and easy. Let's go into some shoulder rolls. Excellent work. All right, we're going to take it to the floor. We're going to come into a seated position here. Well, actually not quite seated. So I want you to bring your feet down. It is seated, but our feet are going to be rounded here to the floor. I want you to take your left leg and I want you to cross it over your right. All right, so now you see it's in a figure four pigeon position in a seated position. A lot of times we do this laying down. So if you want, you can reverse this and do a regular pigeon. All right, so I want you to lean forward. I want you to feel that stretch. Roll your shoulders, good posture, inhale, exhale. Now if you can, remember, be where you're at, lean back slightly, and then take the bottom leg, extend it, and just hold. Grab some inhales, mm, in through the nose, out through the mouth. So now you're activating that core. Good, couple more breaths here. And bend that knee, bring it down. Excellent. Now you're going to take that top leg, you're going to fold it over. Yeah, ground it to the floor, and now you're just going to rotate. Sit up nice and tall, push that hand into the floor. Take that arm, push it into that knee. Rotate it back as you turn and rotate. Awesome. Coming back to center. We're going to come all the way back up, bring that hand down. 
Let's just give those knees a little bit of a hug. Rock yourself back and forth. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so knees are bent. Take that right leg over the left. Grab that heel. Pitch your body forward. Feel that stretch. Remember, one side's going to be tighter than the other. So always be where you're at. So that means really focus on you. And if you need to modify things, you modify it, even if it's from side to side. All right, now if you can, you're gonna slightly lean back. You're gonna take that bottom leg, extend it up, and hold and breathe. Ooh, this side's a little bit harder for me. Ooh, I'm gonna have to reset my body here. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, three, two, one. Bring that foot down, and now take that top leg, Sit up nice and tall. Beautiful. Now you're just going to rotate over that side. Take your elbow, push it into that knee, pull it back. Go ahead and give yourself a nice big strong rotation here. Ah, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. And coming back to center, just cross those legs nice and easy. Sit up super, super, super tall. Bring those arms out in front of you. I'm going to go into those rotations one last time. All the way back and open. Good, you can do one more each side. Open as deep as you can. Excellent. Opposite side. Now crisscross those feet in just switching directions. Now we're gonna bring those arms up overhead and we're gonna do the exact same stretch. So you're gonna reach back and open. Exhale, inhale, breathe and open up to the sky. Excellent. Nice work. Beautiful. Coming back to center, coming down into that heart center. Ah, inhale, exhale, breathe, look down. And that's going to complete this portion. Now, if you want to add on to a little extra, grab me your foam roller and let's go to that. So, if you are ending the workout, have a, or the stretch, have a great day. If you want to continue on, grab your roller and let's meet to the floor. So you're going to take your roller and you're going to lay it long ways like that. So you're going to sit at the very edge and you're just going to lay it all the way back so that you want your head to be onto that foam roller. All right, now I want you to try Feel where your back is. Put your fingertips in that back. And I want you to try to make sure you keep a little back connection. So your back should not start arching up, okay? We want to keep that back flat. So you're going to have to push through that belly button and push down into so your back makes contact with that foam roller. Feet are grounded to the floor. Now you're going to bring those arms up overhead. Now this is where some people are super, super tight. So if your fingertips are not touching the floor, no worries, bend your arms until you can get them to just touch. All right, so keeping that head down, feeling that uh, foam roller on your back, I want you to open up the arms and pull down your elbows into a goal post. All right, when you get into that goal post, I just want you to hold that for a second. I want you to feel the stretch going on right under your armpits into that pec, into the shoulders. Now, I want you to lower your elbows, just your elbows. So you're keeping that arm into that goal post and you're just inching the elbows down. You're gonna to start to feel an enormous stretch right at your shoulders, up into your mid back, under the pecs. Hold it where you feel the most intense stretch. Rock yourself side to side ever so slightly. Awesome. Lower down just a teensy weensy. Now, do you feel the, the uh, foam roller in your mid back? It should be on either side of your shoulder bone, right into there. Squeeze it out. Oh, and now extend those arms, bring them all the way down by your side. Take a nice big inhale and then float them right back up for one more round. Fingertips are towards the sky, or uh, yeah, your palms are towards the sky. Slowly lower down into that goal pose. Remember, you're leading with your elbows. Elbows are skimming the floor. Get into that wide goal pose. You're going to feel that stretch. And now slowly, slowly, slowly inch the elbows down, further down towards your hips. When you feel an incredibly 
big stretch where it almost feels like it almost kind of takes your breath away a little bit. Opening through your pec, opening through your back. Bone roller in the middle of your shoulder blades, right? Woo, see if you can inch form down just a tiny bit. Oh my word, I feel this so big. Nice and easy. Breathe through that stretch. Excellent. Nice and lower down just a tiny bit more. And then extend those arms, bring them all the way towards your side. Palms are lifted towards the sky. I want you to take your left hand, bring it behind you, and I want you to switch. Getting a great big stretch over the shoulders. Nice, now every time you do this, switch your palms. So they'll be down, they'll be up. Four, three, two, and one. Now, you're gonna do that same move, but we're gonna go side to side, yeah. Good, now if you can, again, do that arms palm switch, where you switch up and down with each switch. Get that big stretch here, four, three, two, and one. Bring your fingertips behind your head, lift that head up slightly, let your head go back down to the roller, let your elbows flop down, Feel that stretch right into your pectorals. Nice, now bring it in, round your body forward, squeeze the elbows together, and then do that one more time where they open and just let them hang all the way and let those arms hang open. Feel that stretch one last time. Nice work, now bring those hands towards your side. We're gonna work the core just a little bit. All right, so I want you to bring your right knee up and I want you to bring your left knee up. Now your hands are gonna push into the floor to kind of help with your balance, all right? Again, push that low back into the floor. You're gonna tap your right toe, you're gonna to tap your left toe. Just gonna go into some toe taps. Now you're gonna feel your body kind of rock from side to side because you're on a foam roller and it's round. So you're gonna feel that instability kind of kicking in a bit. Good, one more each way. Awesome work. And hold it here. You're going to extend your right leg long. You're going to pull it in. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, flexing through the heel. Now, if you're feeling your back arching up, then you keep your legs a little higher. All right, feel that rotation going on into your back. So the back is working too. Beautiful. One more each way. Awesome work. Holding it here. Now you're going to do both feet if you can. Tap and lift. Again, really working hard to keep that back pressed into your foam roller. Try not to let it arch, and if this is too intense, go back to the single leg. One more after this, here we go. Last one here, awesome work. Now extend those legs to the sky. We're gonna do that same thing with a leg switch. Up and back, big strong switch. Again, if you're feeling your back arch, don't lower that bottom leg so far. Awesome, you're gonna do four more. Do you feel your core? Four, three, two, and one, excellent work, bring that leg back up, bend the knees and bring them to the floor, ground them to the floor. Take your right hand, you're gonna take your left knee, you're gonna crunch it in, and you're gonna rotate back. And you're gonna crunch it in, and you're gonna rotate back. So you're just going into a little oblique crunch here. Good, you got two more. Nice work, here's your last one for now. Excellent, now I want you to extend that bottom leg, Extend your arm, reach up and down. Reach all the way up towards that toe and down. Couple more like this. Beautiful, let's do one more. Now I'm gonna advance this. You stay here if this is right for you. Otherwise, take that opposite hand, press it into the floor, peel ooh, your body up and bring it back down. Yeah, let's try that one more time. Oh yeah, nice. Now we're gonna do one oblique and we're gonna do one for the toe. If you can sit up and reach, go for it. If you can't, you stay with the laid back version. Here we go, reach it up and lower down. Woo, let's go. And then reach it up. Do you notice how my opposite leg was coming off the floor? Do the best you can. This is your last one right here. And reach up and lower down. Oh. Take a couple of breaths. Nice work. All right, we do the exact same thing other side. So opposite hand comes behind. You're gonna cross it, reach, and lower back down. 
Again, making sure you have that back placement, your low back. See what it feels like on the opposite side. It might feel a little crazy. This whole time you're laying here, you're getting a nice stretch through your spine. Beautiful work. Now you're going to extend that leg long, bring the arm long. You're going to reach and lower. Getting a nice big stretch. Reach and lower. Reach and lower. Nice. Now you're going to do one and one. You're going to pull it in. Oops, you know what? We need to practice this one. So we're going to practice pulling our body up. Yep. Good. Let's do one more. Oh, it seems like it's a little easier on this side for me. All right, here we go. So you're going to do one crossed oblique. And now one sit up. Woo, see how I rolled off that foam roller? So if you roll off, what happens? Not a whole lot. You don't go very far. Come on. Push through it. You're going to breathe. Yeah. Control. Cross it. Awesome work. Cross it out. And reach. You're going to do one more after this. It doesn't have to be the prettiest thing you've ever done. Come on, reach it up. Oh, awesome work. Woo, just roll side to side right here. All right, we've got one last move while we're in this position. I want you to bring those knees back up. Take your right hand, press it really hard into your left thigh. All right, or right below the knee, the squishy part. You're going to pull those shoulders up. You're going to reach out, pull in. Reach out, pull in. So extend that leg, press through the heel. The whole time you're pressing onto that thigh. Ooh, you can put your head back if you, oh, if you need to. Do you feel that core working last two? Press harder, press one, hold. Four, three, two, one. Oh, Ooh, feeling a little fire in there, yeah? All right, let's do the same thing to the opposite side. Bring those knees up. Take your opposite hand, press really hard onto that thigh. Shoulders can be up or down. Here we go. Press out and in. Press out. Flex that heel and in. Press hard. Oh, fire that hole. You got it. Oh, head to the floor if you need to. Remember, you're pressing that low back into your roller. Last one. Hold and press. Hold, hold, press, press. Woo. Fire it up for four, three, two, and one. Oh. roll up here. I want you just to peel your shoulders. I want you to reach towards your heels. Hold it and now pulse it. Three, two, one. Lower back. Ah, nice big inhale. Bring those arms up. Pull your shoulders off. Push that belly down. Reach. Two, three, and down. Good. You're going to do one more. Inhale, exhale. Let's go. Reach. Two, three, and down. And now here's your last and final. We're going to hold and we're just going to pulse. Here we go. Reach up. Reach your fingers towards those heels and pulse it and pulse it. Breathe in and out. Tennis ball under your chin. Nice. Ten, nine. We're small in eight for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one and lower down. Whoo, pull yourself up to a seated, bring yourself back to forward. All right, so sitting nice and tall, knees are bent. We're gonna go into a seated figure four, just like that pigeon that we did, seated pigeon. Ooh, so cross that leg in. You might need to manipulate it a little bit. Hold it here, round yourself forward. Feeling that stretch in the back of your leg. Inhale, exhale. Nice, now you're just gonna take that leg, extend that leg a little bit, bring it up and over, go into a nice spinal rotation, seated. Feeling your body kind of twisting like a washcloth, yeah? Coming back to center. Let's do the other side, walk those feet in, cross the leg over, yeah, you're sitting on that roller, so it's a little intense. Pull it in, lean forward. Breathe in and out. Awesome work. All right, extend that bottom leg a little bit. Bring that foot to the floor. Rotate around. Nice work. Coming back to center. I want you just to pull your body up into a just a standing position, grabbing your foam roller out in front of you. Put it a big, long distance away. 
Fingertips are onto the edge of that foam roller. Let your head hang back. Let your head hang down. So you're looking at your knees. I want you to feel the stretch in your shoulder blades and your upper back. Grab a couple of inhales here. Nice, and bring that gaze back up. Nice and easy, nice flat back. Pull the foam roller in. Nice, just gonna grab that roller. We're gonna come all the way up. Push that pelvis forward, get a nice big back. So you're gonna try to bring that foam roller back with that big stretch in your chest. Coming back to center. Gonna rise to come into a forward roll. Just bring that, that, that foam roller to one side of your body. I'm gonna bring it right back up. And we're just gonna roll back to the other side. Beautiful, right here, all the way back up. Inhale, exhale. Bring those arms in front. Twist it to the right. Twist it to the left. All right. The, the, uh, the, the sleeping dog has been arisen. You got four. You got three. You got two. And you got one. You're going to step it out. You're going to come into a big inhale. Scoop it up. And you're going to do that again. Drive it down Scoop it up and now reverse it all the way out and in and back to the ceiling. And one more time, all the way down and up. You got to bring that foam roller to the floor. Step it out into a nice big inhale and come back into your heart center and your stretch is complete. I hope you felt really good. I hope you enjoyed some of the moves that you did. Working through the core, working through the legs, all those tight muscles. Little easy peasy day. Um, I will see you on the next workout. Take care of your body. Honor your body. Do what's right for your body. And I will see you on the next workout. Take care, everybody. Bye.